Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've got you another three free macros for doing quite interesting things. Follow the link down below and look for Dave's shifters and download them and install them. The usual thing, the library at the top there and import macros and you should get this Dave shifters here. And here they are, the three macros themselves. So let's go through them. First of all is a histogram squeeze and shift. And literally what this does is it squeezes and shifts. So you can watch the histogram up here. As I go to the left, it sort of squeezes it down. And I go to the right, it stretches it out. And is that like the exposure control? Yes. However, I can also do interesting things with this because I can now, with this, I can shift left and shift right. So I can take that squeezed histogram and put it anywhere I like. So there you go, it's the whole thing squeezed up into the middle. But is that useful? Ah, well, it's creative things and, and just surprising things as well. And for example, if I change the blend mode here and go to somewhere like overlay, look at that, look at the difference between the original and that one there. I've just kind of perked the whole thing up. And I can look at other modes as well. For example, I could go to somewhere like linear light for a stronger effect. Yeah, the lights, the, you know, the clouds there are burning out. No problems. Just go to blend rages. And it's a, an adjustment, so I'm going to use this one. I pull that down. And there we go to the right amount. And there you go. I've restored the clouds. Still got the stronger effect here. Yeah. So what else can I do? Let's leave that one. Next one, RGB shift. So click that one here. This one comes as a child, the others are above. And this is a simple control here of adjusting the reds to and go sign this way, red the other way. And there's the second one here. It kind of gives you a bit finer control of that. And with this, you can have quite useful effects. For example, the yellow, um, if you take yellow down, say, that way there, and the red that way, what you got here, it looks like an old postcard, doesn't it? So you can have that kind of effect. And it goes to quite strong levels. You can crank this thing all the way up. And again, you can use blend modes. You can change the opacity down for just for subtler tweaks to it. You know, what can you do here? So you get those kind of like, again, more stylized effects. Is it like color balance control? Yes, similar, but color balance is doesn't allow the strength of this one. And the color balance is separates it out into shadows, midtones and highlights. This does the whole thing. So there we go. There's that one. And the third one, 3M dominance shift. And this one. This does the, if you use my 3M dominance model, which you can find in Dave's color models here. Again, downloadable from the same place. And this now acts on the maximum color. So the color of R, G and B, B in each pixel, which has the highest value, the middle value and the lowest value. So from here, I can do things, I can have quite radical effects here. But when I do this, there's a fairly hard edge to things. If I want to sort of soften that off, I can use the scaling effect and this sort of limb. It just makes it more gentle. And again, look at the style of it that you can do. You can really change colors through things here to have a, you know interesting effects. Again, you can just turn down the opacity for you know, to be gentle. There is also here, by the way, the ability to use each each of these and use the blending modes again for different effects. So you can use all kinds of coloration effects with this quite easily. So in very short order then, that is three new macros that you can use for very stylish forms of colors or use them very gently, lower opacity and just some interesting hints to things to make images look just that bit more special. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.